My take on the Jiangxia Wang 3000 meters run. Time of 8 minutes and 6.11 seconds from 13 September 1993. I'm filming this over 30 years later. On Saturday, 24 August 2024, I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle, and talking through the Jiangxia Wang of China 3000 meters run race at the 1993 Chinese National Games in Beijing, China. She won a time of 8 minutes and 6.11 seconds in the final on Monday, 13 September 1993. With the time, she achieved a personal best time, a China record time, an Asian record time, a world record time in first place. I provide my take slash perspective on her performance and contextualize it in terms of improving her world record from the preliminary heats, 8 minutes and 12.29 seconds by over 6 seconds. Yes, so I think it's a good measure of how good a um, middle distancer is, especially around the 8 minute mark of can they do a world record in both the preliminary heats and final of the event as single competition, right? Those things tend to be spaced out, it's not like it's the same day and even if it were, the nature of the race is uh, quality, middle distance, performer, and a speed sport about the eight minute mark. If they're proficient, they should be able to do that. Right? And she did. Okay. So uh, either way, if I was born 1992 or 1993, I was alive for this, but I did not spectate it in person. I was a very young one um, <laughs> when this happened. It is actually still the world record. In this particular event, um, I kind of, it'd be really cool if there was a world record body for speed sports um, and running specifically. So like instead of, because the governing bodies for international sport these days are insanely political and not dedicated to sporting excellence and actually documenting times that from performance. So it'd be cool to be like, okay, you can say your political way since you have zero desire to be a clean organization or dedicated to clean sport. And instead do a, um, a ratifying body that is only dedicated to records. That way, even if two countries are at war or the whole world is at war, you can be like, you're locked in your country and we'll count your results, but you don't get to go to another country. Right? <laughs> um, it's a happy solution. Um, however, it would require a neutral body, which currently does not exist in the sport of athletics or track and field. Um, and has not in my lifetime or in the lifetime of this world record. Um, but yes, so it's a... Uh, some people who don't really pay attention to running um, or middle distance running or women in running uh, would might say that Asians are slow and everything and that's not true and that has not been the case. There was, um, this was a unique time um, for China, when, like women of China uh, in middle distance running and she, she wasn't alone out there and there were a lot of world records that the group kind of set. So, so some countries are better at moderation than others in China tends to be one of those countries that's good at moderation, self-restraint, self-control, and contributing to the global space without being hogs and hogging and hoarding things such as metals. And anything else? Yes. So Chinese national games, something similar to that of recent might be the Russian solidarity games. I think Canada has games as well. Um, some countries are dedicated to the healthy development of sport within their country. The United States of America does not do that currently, nor in my lifetime, which is where I current, the country I currently reside in. Um, so in that sense, <laughs> right, countries such as China are over 30 years at least ahead of countries like the United States of America, which has not even communicated intent to, for healthy development of sports such as women's middle distance running in the country through a games format that's at the national level. So there we go. That is my take on the Jiangxia Wang 3000 meters run time of 8 minutes and 6.11 seconds from 13 September 1993.